Hello art people, this is our last video for this exit slip. You guys are doing a really good job. I know that writing things down isn't the most fun part of art class. The most fun part of art class is drawing and coloring. So, sorry that you have to write so much, but I promise you it's really good for your brain to look at artwork and think about it. And this helps you look at artwork and think about it. It's very good for you. Okay, now, the first time we used this exit slip, we wrote down how we felt about this artwork. Then we learned about where and when it was made by watching a video. Then in the next video, we decided how we felt about it now that we had learned about where and when it was made. In this video, we're just going to compare and contrast. So when comparing and contrasting, it's nice to use different colors. So if you want to go ahead and get a color out, I'm going to start with green. So number one, how does the drawing make you feel? Well, in the first bubble, I wrote happy. And the second bubble, I wrote inspired. So, are mine different or the same? Mine are different. This one is happy. So, this is more of a passive feeling. Passive just means more relaxed and not really doing anything. I'm just sitting there being happy. And inspired, that's more active. Active is just what it sounds like. Doing something. When, you, it, when you're feeling active, you're feeling like doing something. So those are the differences in mine. Is there any similarities in mine? My number ones? Well, they're both positive, aren't they? They're both good feelings. Positive and good. Okay. Good. I've got three bubbles down. Two, four, six to go. I'm gonna go ahead and switch colors for number two. Number two. What does it make you think of? Before I learned about where and when it was made, it made me think of outer space. Then it made me think of sidewalk chalk artwork. Do these have any similarities or differences? Do yours have any similarities or differences? Well, outer space and sidewalk chalk are both outside, so I could put outside in the middle, and the middle is where we're putting our similarities. Outer space is kind of not very accessible. Accessible means you can't get to it easily. Or accessible means you can get to something easily. If it's not accessible, then you can't get to it easily. So this one is not accessible. Access. I'm pretty sure I didn't spell that right. Hold on. Let me... Well, when I push play on this video, if I spelled this wrong, I will... Uh, I'll pause the video and tell you how to really spell it. Okay. And this one is accessible. I can access chalk and I can access sidewalk chalk a lot easier than I can access outer space. Access... I'm trying to think if it's able or able. Accessible. Okay. And now I only have three bubbles left. So I'm going to switch colors. Number three. What do you think the artist is trying to communicate to you as a viewer? First, I thought it could put you in a good mood. Is what he wanted to tell us. And then I thought it was about... You can make art anywhere. Are there similarities in mine? Are there similarities in yours? If so, write them in a similarity bubble. So again, these are both. You can make art anywhere. These are both like positive messages. And 
And this one is about how you feel. And this one is about what you can do. The pink is, doesn't show up very well. How you feel. H-O-W-Y-O-U-F-E-E-L. Positive. P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E. What you can do. W-H-A-T-Y-O-U-C-A-N-T-O. We are all done with this exit slip. Good job, you guys. It only is just a little six-minute video, so we can use the rest of the time to make some art. Good job. See you in the next one.